outside Westbrook. Throws it up high. It's going by Durant. And now here comes Simmons leading the break. The kick out to Irving. Durant feeling it out a bit. Rebounded by the Lakers. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Howard misses. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Nets. Right side, Simmons. Shot clock at six. Seven foot shot. Misses the lamp. He had him with that pump thing. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. So we'll see Russell Westbrook go to the line here. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Lakers shooting their first free throw this game. And talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting is something that has to get better. You're immediately putting yourself at a disadvantage when you shoot that poorly from the line. Here's Simmons. Three fouls for him already. And now if you're the coach, you got to think about sitting him down. Simmons inside. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And finished off by Westbrook. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well. Knows what's coming and usually always makes the right pass. Now here's Griffin. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Simmons following the bucket by the Lakers. And they double up Simmons. Shot clock at three. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Coming up on the floor. A chance here to retake the lead. You can see the intensity on display here these last few minutes. Here's Westbrook. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Pass to Brown. Bradley with some nice D. And here is Los Angeles now. To the inside. Here's LeBron. It's sent back down by Simmons. Elite defensive threat and presence. Simmons understands exactly how to use his body to position himself for excellent defense. And Simmons slams it in. Simmons. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Pass to Bradley. Come get it, come get it. James looking around. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. Teams changing it up here.
Durant with it. Pass to Claxton. Harris outside. From 13. And Durant gets it to go. And the Nets lead by four. Boy, that in-between game of Durant is deadly. Give him this shot, and you'll regret it. On for three. The rebound by the Nets. And, and, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's KD. The shot will not fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Just not fair from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Pass to none. Off target from outside. And Harris wide open. He shoots off target from three-point range. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. There are very few that can handle and battle with Davis inside. I mean, he's got really tremendous strength and agility and a nice touch. And this, the second season of Anthony Davis's five-year, $190 million extension. And he admitted that with his injury history, that long-term security was a consideration. Two minutes to play. First quarter. Now here's Durant. Out to Harris. Brown wide open. He fires. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Set up on a platter that time by Harris. A room service dime right there. And AD's injury woes rearing their head last season as well, Greg. We saw it missing a number of games. Well, a, a big man with his athleticism, a lot of stress on the leg. LeBron's gotten him on the same nutrition and treatment regimen. Hopefully, that'll help. That's leading by five. And Durant gets double team. Pass to Harris. Wants to get it to KD and does. Back to Harris. Over Anthony. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Lakers trail by five. And a little luck that time, but it drops. You know, unlike a lot of bigs, Davis doesn't have to operate inside. He's totally confident in his ability to do damage from the perimeter. Now, here's Brown. KD draws the double. Outside Dragic. Over Johnson. Durant. That's good. Durant's got six. Well, that's virtually impossible to defend. I mean, with Durant's length, those long arms, and the high arcing shot that he shoots, the best you can do as a defender is challenge him and hope he misses. Now here's Dragic. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside, KD. Three-pointer. No good that time. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Nets lead by two. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K. been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense guys is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And it's Irving with the ball for Brooklyn. to Claxton. Brown outside. 
and Davis sends it back. No, sir, don't bring that in here. A.D. having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. Misses from close range. That's leading by four. Irving double team. Simmons inside. Out to Harris. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Here's Irving. Rebound the Lakers. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Here's Anthony. Takes it inside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. The Lakers making a switch here. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Nets. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Back to Curry. Pass to Claxton. The kick out to Brown. Taken away by Anthony. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And I like the decision-making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now, and they need it. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way, but Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from it. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, you have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, DA. Thank you for that portrait. Well, you got to put a body on Davis when he goes up in the air, because if you don't, it's too late. You'll be Instagram. A deep three from Irving. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. Back to Irving. That's to Curry. Round with it. Covered by Anthony. Goes up the baseline. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. And finally they hit one. Now it's a five-point Laker lead. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back. Well, it's paid off with a greater rate of second chance hoops. I mean, great effort to build this lead on their part. Here's Curry with the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Augustine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Beyond the arc. Hands it from downtown. Augustine's got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. Yeah, and Augustine continues to get it done from deep. The consistent three-ball shooter who gets his shot up in a hurry. Here are the Lakers. They're on a 14-2 run here. to Claxton outside curve here's Claxton he's guarded by Davis outside Irving and the Nets miss again not quite enough defense that time around just lucky he was off Augustine looking around The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. There might be more talent at the point guard position now, Greg, than there's ever been in the NBA. But who do you think sits at the top of that list? 
I mean, Kevin, there's so many incredible talents. And not that I'm dodging it, but honestly, it, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It depends on what kind of tickles your fancy in terms of the point guard. If it's the ability to shoot and play without it, steps at the top of the league list. But then you get a guy like Chris Paul, who I think is as good as anybody's ever been in the pick and roll. So they're, they're just different ways to approach this thing. And of course, now I've forgotten four or five guys that I should have added into this conversation. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful. This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. This one for three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Nets trail by 13. Here's Harris to halt the run. Pass to Curry. Back to Irving. Irving double team. Here's Harris. And the Nets miss again. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Back to Bradley. Knocks down the three ball. Bradley. Bradley's got five now. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And on the way from Irving for three. Missed that one. Still looking for a shot. Just two for nine. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down hard. Well, Davis, so dominant, so strong, so athletic, so skilled. He got everything he wanted right there. Now Irving. On the wing, Harris. No points in the game yet for him. There's the triple. That shot off. And it's the Lakers the other way. And still, he scores. But they could use just a little bit of help. Time out, time out. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. So the Lakers call timeout their first. And so it's the Lakers with it. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. And Howard with the stuff. LeBron James. Really, really hard to keep Howard out of the paint. I mean, once he gets the position he wants, he's going to look to throw it down. Hammers the alley-oop through. James. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. Monk with the ball, and Curry picks him up defensively. Gabriel. And Simmons with the rebound. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Clock at four. Griffin trying to get open. No good from Simmons. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Back to Howard. A rebound by the Nets. Got a piece of it. Pass to Gabriel. To the middle. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And, you know, I think this is exactly what you want Howard to do. I mean, when somebody's open, show that you're willing to give. Oh! oh. Simmons. Really can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. I mean, his confidence just rises when he slams it down like that. 
And the latest wrinkle in Seth Curry's game, creating for others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting the defense commit, then making his move. All part of that maturation process. The unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And a wide open look for James. And another three for the Lakers. Bringing that three point percentage up quite a bit this quarter. Shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Time after time, it's Ben Simmons' time. The Australian looking fabulous tonight. Back to Westbrook. Pass to LeBron. And they double up James. Six on the shot clock. Here's Gabriel, guarded by Kerr. Tries from 10. Here's Howard. Misses the baby hook. Lakers lead by 23. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. And Simmons slams it in. Simmons can bounce now. He's 6'11", but he can get up in the air, too. Makes dunks a lot more fun when you're that tall and can bounce like Simmons can. Pass to Griffin. Westbrook with it. Picked up by Brown. James outside. And they double up James. Durant with the steal. A finish, and Simmons slams it in. The long arms of Durant helping on the break there. KD still got it all started there. And there's the call on Curry. That is his first foul of the game. The Lakers controlling the game. And here is LeBron. Nine points in the game so far. This is his first free throw of the game. And he makes the first. And you know, this guy simply does not age. LeBron remains a dominant force in this league despite being in the league since 2003. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree, I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Outside, Simmons. And Jalen Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Here's LeBron. A monk. Just five on the clock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. Well, he is so tough to guard without fouling because he's aggressively attacking you at all times. And one of the great things about Westbrook, he's high motor all day, every day. And Jalen Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. Los Angeles on D. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. And Taylor Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. 
That's his third second. foul of the game. Here is Durant. Outside, Simmons. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. 24 points for Ben Simmons. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. And then Griffin with the dunk. You know, Simmons is a platinum-level passer, and he has a really good understanding of when his teammates are open. And they double up LeBron. On its way from Monk for two. Can't nail the jump. And that's trailed by 20. Pass to Simmons. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Yeah, that one put him over the limit. And it's so early that if they're not careful, this could turn into a parade at the free throw line. So valuable on the defensive side of the ball. Simmons goes beyond personal, Clark. He can guard one through five at a very high level. Well, Kevin, you start with his tremendous athleticism for a guy that's a legitimate 6'11". He takes pride in defending, and he's disruptive as well as disciplined. Here's Simmons. And then Simmons slams it in. And the amazing moves of Simmons. I mean, he's just so much fun to watch when he's got the ball in his hands. Here's Gabriel. The kick out to Westbrook. And they double up James. Floats it up for James. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Pass to Griffin. Outside for Durant. KD draws the double. And Malik Monk is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy soundbite. Double team on Westbrook. Here's Gabriel. And it's Durant with the rebound. And it's Irving with the ball for Brooklyn. They trail by 18. Simmons left side. And so they foul intentionally. We've seen him miss a couple from the line so far going two for four. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. You know, yeah, guys, last year was a rough one for him at the stripe. I mean, it's going to be hard for him not to improve on those numbers. They were that bad. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. The Nets have shot three of six at the foul line. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. And you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers helped them win games. Here's Reeves. Clock at six. LeBron has doubled. But no one around him gets the three-pointer to fall. Monk's got five points so far. In the corner, Simmons with it. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. 
taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Reeves can't hit. Nets trail by 18. Here's KD. Outside, Simmons. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when it comes to handling the rock, Irving is second to none. Greg cannot agree with you more. He is special in the highest form of special. Great ball handling skills, finishing ability with both hands. I don't know if I've seen a better finisher under 6'3 in the history of the league. You might have somebody in mind, but nobody's been better than Kyrie Irving at finishing and getting it done with his handles and stuff. Sensational speed by Simmons, trucking it down the court and beating everybody. Here's James. Oh, good on that one. Simmons with the defensive effort. And there's the call on James. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Stepping the line. And for a player with Blake Griffin's physical makeup, it was a big adjustment when he had to deal with injury issues. He's really had to reshape his body and his game. Here's Westbrook. Trying to get open is Johnson. Up and in on the layup. Westbrook's got 10 points. You know, even inside, Westbrook, unstoppable. He plays with great confidence and also tremendous force for a guard. Simmons on the wing. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And one thing about Griffin and the injuries, Greg, that he went through, he did everything he could to get his body back to where it needed to be. And he didn't care what it was, yoga, weights, conditioning, you name it, because he knows how important it is to be able to elevate. And Griffin needs to be explosive, and he'll work 24-7 to make sure he is. Inside, here's Bradley. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He has seven. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. His first foul. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. And he looks totally out of sorts here at the strike. Those defenders aren't afraid at all to body him up and force him to earn his points at the line. You know, Ben Simmons has shouldered a lot of criticisms about his game, but, you know, I love the fact that he keeps his head down and just works hard and continues to mature as an outstanding all-around player. Here's Davis, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That is textbook when you're talking a pump fake. Well executed that time by Davis. So good at knowing how to use that shot fake effectively. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Outside Durant. And he drives in. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Tell you what, when Durant is feeling it, he puts on some swagger. He's going to let you know he's got it going. Westbrook with it. Ten points for him. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. His first foul. One of the big surprises with the NBA draft, the trade of Russell Westbrook. Westbrook let it be known he was open to another move. And it'll be interesting to see how he fits next to LeBron and AD this season. They double-team Curry. Outside for Durant. Off target with his three to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. As 
to Davis. Dragic comes with the double team. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Davis. Nice fake with the layup off the mark. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Brooklyn. Outside Durant. And Durant gets double team to the right side. For three, Harris nailed from three-point land. Harris has got his first three points of the game. You know, like a lot of shooters, Harris prefers to release off a pass, catch and shoot, not the dribble. Rockets left side. Down low to the wing on the left. To the inside. And he goes in for the dunk. And tremendous fundamentals from Dragic. Running the pick and roll to perfection. And here are the Nets. They're on a 17-7 run. Curry shot is off. And Nicholas Claxton gets the whistle that time. That's his third whistle. And that'll be his third foul so far. Lakers lead by 10. Pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Now Curry. Covered by Anthony. Here's Claxton. KD with it. Brooklyn needs to get off the shot here. Yep, that one goes. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. Davis. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Davis has got 18 points in the game. And have we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. KD can't get it to go. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Right side Davis. Outside Brent. Shot clock at six. Kicks it out to Johnson. For the three. Davis on the follow. Davis has got 20. AD doing what he does. 24-7, stuffing that stat sheet. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. For three, Harris. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used this contribution. And Davis gets it to go. From Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Pass to KD. Looking to get it going. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Lakers leading by 14. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. And it's Davis with the jam. So smooth, so fluid, effortless, yet powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. Right side, Durant. Shoots over Brent. For three, Harris sinks the triple. Harris has got six points. You know, this is where Harris is most dangerous. One of the very best from behind the arc. His eyes light up when he gets these long-distance chances. 
A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. High post, KD. He's got 10. Up in time. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Nets trail by 15. Now here's Irving. Pass to Simmons. The kick out to Irving. Back to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. It's Bradley on the wing. He's looking for Howard and finds him. Inside is Gabriel. Again, Los Angeles. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Lakers substitution. Johnson. Simmons on the wing. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Team second. Here's Simmons. Here he goes. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. Simmons is driving inside. I'm telling you, he's going to sky up for the flush. Getting to the bucket in no time. Back to Howard. Bradley up top. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Four on the clock. Westbrook drives in. Yeah, you like to see since the half now. He's finally starting to come around. Curry on the wing. Outside, Simmons. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. This is third personal. Third team foul. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. A nice shot by Irving. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. Curry with it. Now guarded by Brad. Irving with a clean look. Offensive rebound, Nets. And here's Harris from the arc. Drills it from outside. Harris has got it back down to within single digits for the Nets. Pass to Johnson. Back to Bradley. The kick out to Westbrook. Into the lane. And oh, he just jams it right over Ben Simmons. Wow. Boy, that time Russell Westbrook going for the spectacular with a little extra pizzazz. Just punch the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. And the shot is good from Johnson. Nice touch there near the hoop. Outside, Simmons. And you've got to be more careful in that situation. That's his fifth foul, and now he's walking a fine line. First one falls for him. And last year, Carmelo Anthony climbed into the top 10 all-time in scoring. Well, I mean, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. And he may never get that NBA title, but you factor in college and international play, and there's no doubt he'll be in Springfield. Howard wide open. Misses the three. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. second personal. 
So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. Nicholas Boston. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Outside for Durant. Offline with his three. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. And, and Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. I agree. I mean, now's when they need a spark the most. Three. And the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot, and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. Outside, Simmons. Lakers and Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the five. That's it for him. He's fouled out. Now we'll go to the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And now in the That's second the half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Pass to Davis. Back to Anthony. And here is Davis. Guarded by KD. Davis with the bucket. Davis. Davis has got 28. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the main. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every play in every game. No doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Attacking and transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Anthony Davis understands the value of points in transition, getting out and finishing on the break. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Shot clock at five. As to Howard. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Howard's got four points in the quarter. Imposing his will down there. Howard feels like he can score anytime he wants from this area. Drills the three-pointer. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. To the middle. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And it's Davis missing. Next trail by 13. On the wing, Irving. And there's the call on James. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. That free throw missing. Shooting for Brooklyn. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Lakers leading by 13. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. LeBron outside. And they double up James. 
Here's Davis. Got him with the bump fake, but couldn't finish. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And the shot goes down. He didn't have a single point in the first half. Bagel, zero points, nada. He's starting to get into the groove here in the second. And it's Davis missing. Nets trailed by 11. Pass to Harris. Now Kevin Durant. To the paint. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. Los Angeles calls timeout. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings. The most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint. And keep him away from the basket. Nets trail by nine. Harris outside. Outside, Simmons. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. That's good from Simmons. Shooting two. And Simmons drops them both. Lakers leading by seven. James left side. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. This is third. This is third foul of the game. Anthony right side. Six to shoot. Left side Davis. To end the cold streak. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. 32 points for Davis. I think this particular play hinges on Davis' shooting ability. But you've got to set him up right and the basket is virtually guaranteed if you do. Outside, KD. Uses the glass to finish the way. Simmons. Simmons got 60. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Down low. Here's LeBron. Davis gets a wide open look. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Davis has got 34. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Looking to end his cold spell. And Katie throws it down. And, you know, once Durant notices a lane, you're toast. I mean, using his long strides to get inside fast, unstoppable. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And on the way from Irving for three. A shot off that time. The Lakers going the other way now. Pass to Bradley. Passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Howard. Outside Anthony. Over Simmons. And it comes off the front of the rim. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with him. 
And there's the call on Howard. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Stepping the line with two shots. So he comes up empty at the line. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Seven-point differential. You know, once LeBron's at the rim, you might as well turn your head if you don't want to appear on a poster somewhere. Because he's throwing it down with force when he gets to the rack. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Bobbed up there for Howard. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Lakers. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And what a huge standout performance it was for Anthony Davis. Now, he was a problem on the glass today, relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. And Simmons drops them both. And the Lakers have possession. They have a nine-point lead. Pass to Bradley. Davis down low. And it's sent back by KD. Well, that'll get everybody on the bench fired up. They love to see KD playing some D like that. Here's Harris. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Lakers foul. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. James. Assisted by. And the dunk by James. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Timeout called the Nets. They're trailing by 13. One second left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. You know, maybe working on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future.